long term. And I, I think really does give us that chance to compete for the Stanley Cup. And in my opinion, that was the overriding reason why we got this deal done. Um, in our uh, contract negotiation conversations, it became very clear to me that, you know, despite the differences that you have, that uh, Ryan and uh, Kate wanted to be here in Nashville for hopefully his entire career. And that's something that I think is very exciting. I think Ryan does. And in this day and age, that's not uh, not often that the player gets a chance to maybe play his whole career in one city. And that's uh, hopefully I'll do everything. And I know Ryan will do everything to, to try to make that happen. Uh, we drafted Ryan way back in 09. And, and uh, he's now just missed his seventh uh, season playing for our, our team. And I think that he would. He knows as well as anybody firsthand how good of a hockey town uh, Nashville has become and our, how great our fans are and our sold out building and just the passion that uh, everybody has for our team right now. I think, uh, it, it, speaking for myself, it certainly feels right that Ryan's going to be here long term and I think uh, probably his remarks I would hope and expect that he'd probably say the same thing that this feels like uh, home to, for him and Kate. Uh, Ryan is a huge part of our team, a huge part of our leadership group. I mean, last year, I think we showed great confidence in, in him in terms of the naming him associate captain last summer, and he proved to us with his, with his play how valuable he is, uh, knowing our team on the ice, but uh, off the ice. He's a respected voice in our, uh, our locker room, um, combined with his, his great play. I think we're very fortunate to have him for the, for the foreseeable future, or, or beyond one, but I think for the foreseeable future. Last year was your best year, I think highs and assists, plus minus. Uh, just looking at this, you were the highest plus minus uh, defenseman in our team history last year. Um, and you had that knack for uh, doing the, those clutch plays. You, you scored seven goals when we were at the trail and it was tied. So you played a total of 396 games for the Predators, your sixth highest points by defenseman in our team history. And I think we'd all agree with you in our top playoff performers. So. Last week, you were named uh, as one of the 20 best defensemen in the National Hockey League by the NHL Network. And I think we'd all agree that Brian fits in perfectly with our defense score with uh, Roman Yossi, PK, and Tia Sackholm. So, uh, I know, as I told you this morning, uh, I, I watched you play uh, junior, and I'll tell us to anybody, I thought uh, Ryan, perhaps the best junior that I've ever seen play. And I've seen lots of players play over my time, but he was a special, special player. We had that feeling when we drafted you. In uh, 09, and here we are nine years later. I'm very proud that uh, you're still an important member of this franchise and you will be for years to come. So, congratulations, Brian. Well, David didn't really say much for me to say, but <laughs> um, no, this is uh, uh, an extremely exciting time for, for not only me, but my family and um, the entire organization. Going through this process, it's uh, Nobody really wants to go through negotiation, but um, I knew in the back of my head that uh, something was going to get done and I was going to be in Nashville and it never, never crossed my mind that anything else or to go anywhere else. And, um, and it's, it, it's an exciting time in Nashville right now. We have uh, an unbelievable team. We've, I, I talked with Dave this morning. We, we've been building something the last couple of years and um, it just it's snowballing into something bigger and bigger every year. And, um, we're really hoping uh, this year is the year, and if not, we can keep doing it every year. And, um, that's the one thing that really excited me is this team's going to compete for a long time, and I wanted to be a part of that. And after having my hand in, in building part of it, I wanted to continue and uh, stay here, long, especially long term. Um, my family loves it. Uh, I just got married, and she uh, she was probably twisting my arm more than more than myself to, to get signed here. And we, uh, we absolutely love it. And um, there was no other place that we wanted to be. So um, that being said, we are uh, extremely excited to, to be here for the, like you said, the foreseeable future and uh, into uh, 2027. Thank you both. I'll open up for a few questions now. Ryan, uh, in this day and age, we see players wanting to maximize their dollars when they get the opportunity. How did you put that aside ego-wise? For, for a different cost? Um, I mean, it's, uh, well, it's, I mean, I'm getting paid more than enough than, uh, to play hockey, and we're very excited to, I'm very excited to be able to do that for, for a long time, and, um, it was just a, about coming across a fair deal, and it will work for both sides, and, um, we have other guys that, you know, need to be re-upped and need to be signed in the future, and, um, I had to do my part to, 
to keep this thing going in the right direction. And um, if we can keep everyone here and keep the core together, I think we compete, can, can compete for Stanley Cup for the next 10 years at least. And um, I mean, that's bold to say, but I think uh, we believe a lot in the people that we have in our room and, and our coach, our GM, our entire organization. And um, I, I just really want to be a part of it. Brian, what do you think of this specifically about this group that makes guys like yourself and Johansson and Philip want to commit long term to this group? Well, I think uh, it starts with the city. Um, the fans, the organization, um, the, the lifestyle here, it, uh, it suits hockey players. I think you see a lot, a lot of hockey players that are, you know, quiet, humble, and um, just kind of want to fit in. And um, I think that's a lot of our team, and uh, Nashville's the perfect place to do that. So I think it starts there. Um, and then you get to the rink every day and um, the way this team operates and um, the success we've had recently and, and even in the past that um, you know that something great is coming and it's coming soon and um, everyone wants to win. I think if you, you ask anyone in our locker room what's the, the end all goal at the end of your uh, hockey career it's to be a Stanley Cup champion and um, I think this is the place that we have, have the best opportunity to do that. Dave showered you with accolades because we're up here. I'm, I'm going to guess those didn't come up in negotiations. <laughs> uh, well, I wasn't on the phone call, so uh, I'm sure uh, my side was probably saying a lot of them, and that's probably where you might have got a couple of them from. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saving them. I had them all in my so head. I've been saving them. <laughs> No, it uh, it was a it was a good process. It's like I said, no hockey player, no no athlete ever wants to go through those uh, negotiations. They they ultimately just want to go out and play. And um, I'm happy that it's over, and we're uh, we're both excited, and it's uh, it's going to be a great season, and hopefully we have a lot of great ones after that too. Robbie, how have you been able to balance trying to win now and keeping your focus there, but also looking out for the team, you know, four or five years down? Well, that's the uh, that's our job, and that's the, the, the puzzle that you're, you're giving me, putting together a, a team in this day and age, and you know, with the salary cap and other other factors. And uh, again, just you know, I have really good people that, that work uh, with me, for me, and from the draft, and to help me negotiate uh, uh, strategic planning and all those things. And it's uh, it's not about you know risk. I mean, everything that we do is you know somewhat of a, a gamble. I mean, you, know, you, know, you sign Brian to eight years. Right? Years and you're really counting these guys to be good players, not only today, but for a long time. And in fact, in the money that you're, you're paying them, and you're, you know, I have a series. I also have two, two things I always look at on a daily basis this upcoming year, which I, I try to focus on the most, but then I have a three to five year plan for what has to go in here, and you're always, you know, uh, making uh, uh, some kind of you know, guessing what kind of player this guy's going to turn out with, and if you maybe it has a chance to negotiate early, or, or you know, you know, who's going to turn over your team, etc., etc. And you're always adding up the dollars in anticipation of what you think the cap's going to be, and it's, it's somewhat difficult. And you've seen some teams that have had some really good success in this league, and then they get into cap problems, and it's, it's, it's a little bit of a mess. So I, I like the fact right now that we're in a good, good spot, our age is good, our, our, most of our, our core is signed. Um, just feels like we're in a good spot, but it is a little bit of a judgment on a day of the three basis. Works. Brian, when David had his pressure at the end of the year, he talked about how many of you guys players went to him and said, You like this group, you want this group together. Why was that something that you guys collectively wanted to say to your general manager, and why was that important to the program? Well, I think it, it speaks to one, how much the guys love it, not only in the organization, but love it here. And, um, I think we knew we had the team to do it. I think we, we came so close last year, we added some great pieces and um, I mean it came down to a battle of two titans that you know we didn't end up on top that time. Um, but we love the guys, we love the group, we see a lot of potential. Um, I think you can see it with how many banners we've put up in the last two years in our rink and um, it's an exciting time to be part of this team. And, um, I think the, the love and passion that each guy has for, for one another as well as the game, that it, it excites us to come to the rink every day. And um, we, were, we were all kind of collectively saying that, you know, we hope nothing changes. 
and we can continue to do this because we think we're that close. Okay. That covers my question. Okay. Yeah. With saying that, how has this off season been? You know, coming off of that playoff run, and then obviously you waiting on a deal to be signed. How, how has it been personally for you? Yeah, it's it's been a good off season. Um, last year with the, the injury that I had, it didn't really allow me to have the, the best off season as far as training and this and that went. So there's more rehab, which no one wants to go through. So um, this uh, this off season has been a lot more fun. Just kind of getting back to it's the first time I ran in two years and. Um, that was exciting. I mean, no one likes to run, but that was exciting for me. That, you know, I could run again, and um, I feel great. And everything's came back just even better than before. And, um, so it's I'm really excited about how the off season went, and I think we're all kind of getting ready, and we want to get back into camp and start this thing again because, like I said, it's an exciting time to be here, and uh, we want to get it going. David, he's never been the biggest guy or the fastest guy, but he's always been able to play hockey. From an evaluator standpoint, is he a valuable lesson for you guys that sometimes it's okay just to take a guy who's really good at hockey? Yeah, I, absolutely. I mean, again, I'm sure Ryan's size has come up once or twice during his, his time as he's moved up the, the ladder. But even starting with us and you put him in certain situations and you wonder whether he can handle other situations. And, and now he's a, a player that plays big minutes every night. He plays in every situation, so there's nothing that he can't do. But, you know, honestly, it's probably a process to always have to you know prove himself uh, probably at every every level and prove himself at the highest level, the, you know, the, the biggest stage. And I don't think anybody would uh, not say that Ryan Mills couldn't play on my team and could not play in any situation. He is one of the top defensemen in the National Hockey League. But, but it's nothing. It never gets past you know more than a chat. And um, that's the good thing about our team. It doesn't matter what your role is or how much you make or what you do for the team. It's where we all really enjoy being around each other and know that each player brings something to uh, to the team and to the table. And um, it's a, it's just a, a fun time. It's a fun group to be around. And um, I mean, winning is the ultimate goal. And I think uh, we all know that we we have a chance. Anything else? One more, last one. Yeah. When you were picked, you know, this organization wasn't aware where it is today. Did you ever dream that you get a contract like this ultimately possibly spend your entire career with this team? Well, to be honest, I, you know, growing up in Canada, I, I didn't know much about Nashville. And um, I knew, obviously, the Predators. I was a big NHL fan and um, didn't know too much about uh, not only the city, but the team. And um, so coming in here, getting off the flight to the first development camp, I, you know, it's kind of a, a whole new horizon. You're just kind of like, wow, where, where am I kind of thing. And, um, you know, each and every year it, uh, it seems to snowball and get a little more hype, a little bigger, a little more exciting. And um, over the last two years it's really taken off. And um, it's fun to be a part of that and, and see how much it's grown and um, in such really such a, sh a short while. And um, it's, it's an amazing place to be, live. The people are great, the city's great, the fans are amazing, and um, I couldn't imagine playing anywhere else, and that's uh, why it was so important to, to be able to stay here, and um, why it means so much to, to me and my family.